Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to make this poster in Word. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the background color of my page. So I'm going to go up to Design and along to Page Color. Now just click on the drop down. You can choose from any color here. But if your color isn't in this swatch, then simply click down to more colors and your color wheel will appear. Then just move this small icon to wherever you want it to be. So we're going to go for a slightly beige look and then just click OK. Then I'm going to go up to the Insert tab, go along to Shapes, click on the drop down, go down to Rectangles and click on the first shape. Then just click and drag to make a rectangle. And to put in the correct sizes, go along to this icon here, which is the width of your shape. And I'm just going to input 3.5 centimeters and press enter. And that will work out perfectly for the width of our page. Then I'm just going to move that shape over. And then ensuring I'm on shape format, I'm going to this icon here, which is the shape outline and I'm going to select no outline. The next thing we want to do is to select the colors for our poster. Now I'm not very good at matching colors or creating colors. So I normally go onto the internet and go to Pinterest. And then in the top search bar here, I've just typed vintage color schemes, 1970s. And there you'll see a huge collection of different swatches that you can use for your poster. I've actually used for this particular poster this swatch here. So the easiest way to tackle this is to simply take a screenshot. Now in order to show you how to do this, I'm just going to move my screen to one side and I'm going to click on my screenshot and I'm just going to bring my screenshot to here so you, you can see how I'm doing this. So click on your shape and then make sure you're on shape format. Go to the shape fill icon here, click on the drop down and go down to more fill colors. Once you're on the color wheel, you'll see there's this eyedropper tool here. Click on that and this circle will appear. And as you move that circle, you can see that the color underneath will show through. If I go over to my screenshot here, then I can select from any of these colors. So I'm simply going to select this first color. So now you can see this color is displayed in the square and then just click OK. Now all I'm going to do is copy and paste by Command or Control C, Command or Control V to copy the rectangle. And again, I'm going to go up to Shape Fill, click on the drop down, click on More Fill Colors, click on the eyedropper tool go along and select the next color. Now, all of these colors aren't gonna fit on my particular design. So I'm just going to skip to the next color here. Click OK. Move that along. Command or Control V again. And then I'm just gonna go and do exactly the same for each rectangle. And in the meantime, I will just speed up the video. Okay, so once you're happy with all your colors, you can see that we're not quite lined up yet. So what we need to do is select one of our rectangles, hold your command or control key down, and continue to select the rest of the rectangles. Once you've selected all of your rectangles, go up to the shape format tab, and then along to groups, and select group. Once you've selected groups, you'll see that all your rectangles can now be moved as one object. And to ensure that this is in the center of your page, if you go up to the align tool, click on the drop down, ensure you are aligned to margin, and then just click align to center. And that will ensure that your rectangles are in the center of your page. And now onto the numbers at the bottom. The way I'm going to do this is click the insert tab, go along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then I'm simply going to click and drag. 
and I'm just going to put 1970 in here. I'm going to highlight the numbers, go up to the Home tab, and then I'm just going to click on the Increase Font Size icon until I'm happy with the size of my font. And for this particular demonstration, I'm going to select Agency FB. Then I'm going to center it. I'm going to then go to Shape Format. I'm just going to get rid of the border and this white background. So again, up to Shape Fill and click No Fill. And again, up to the border here, click on the drop down and select No Outline. Then I'm going to go along to the Align tool and align to center and click off and see if you're happy and I think this black is a little bit too bold for this particular poster so I'm just going to double click make sure my cursor's inside my text box command or control A to select all of the text and then I'm going to go up to the home tab I'm going to go along to this font icon here click on the drop down I'm just going to select a dark grey and then click off and then let's just zoom out to see if we're happy. That font's a little bit too small so again I'm going to double click inside, go up to the home tab and go back to the increase font size tool. And I'm just going to pull that down a little bit to expose all of the numbers. And then I'm just going to use my arrow key to move that up. I think the background's just a little bit too bright. So once again, I'm going to go up to the design tab along to page color. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to select this color here, which I chose earlier. Now, of course, you can go ahead and change any of these fonts or colours or shading, and you can obviously increase or decrease the amount of rectangles you have in your poster. But that's just a quick demonstration if you wanted to add a little bit of colour to your walls or as a gift. I hope it's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.